Hello and welcome to Muscle 101. Now in this short PowerPoint presentation what I want to do is simply talk to you about basic muscle structure. Now what we're talking about here is skeletal muscle. Now here we've got two bodybuilders and both of them have significant amounts of skeletal muscle. Now if you're watching this video you're probably thinking how can I get muscles like this? Well the key thing at this point is to understand a little bit more about the structure themselves. I liken this to um, a car. If you've got a car, basic car, you want to super up into a, a super sports type car, you need to know a bit about car mechanics. And similarly, to learn how to build muscle, you've got to learn a bit about muscle structure. So let's have a look now at the basic muscle structure. Now muscles work in what are called antagonistic pairs. Here we've got um, the biceps and the triceps. Note the basic structure. Okay, You've got the muscle here and the bone. Here's the, the humerus, the funny bone. Now the bicep is held onto the bone by these structures here called tendons. Now notice there are two here, that's why it's called the bicep, by meaning two, and there are three here, that's why this is called the tricep. So the tricep has got three tendons, and these are called points of insertion, so the tricep's got three points of insertion, the bicep's got two points of insertion, and notice the tendon here and here. Key thing about tendons is tendons cannot be stretched now the bicep has the ability to contract and then relax. Similarly, the tricep can contract and then sorry can contract and then relax. That's why they work in pairs. When the bicep contracts, the tricep relaxes. When the tricep contracts, the bicep relaxes. Muscles cannot push; they can simply contract and get shorter. So let's look now at the structure. Now muscles are basically elongated cells and as I said before they're able to contract and relax. Now they contain what are called filaments made of two particular types of proteins and that's actin and myosin. The three types of muscle, the involuntary muscle, this is the smooth muscle, you have no control over this. The cardiac muscle around the heart, uh, this is the one here we're talking about, here we're talking about muscle growth and bodybuilding. This is the voluntary muscle and this is the striated or skeletal muscle. Let's have a look now at some more detail. Here's the three different types of muscle. You can see quite a difference in this structure. Here's the skeletal that we've got control over, voluntary. Here's the cardiac, this is the amazing muscle around your heart. And the smooth involuntary muscle that we have no control over. Let's break this down a bit further. Here's your tendon, as I said before, connects to the bone. Here's the muscle. Muscle consists of what are called muscle fibers. Let's look at the muscle fiber. Take a muscle fiber, expand it, and here's a muscle fiber. And you find the muscle fiber it consists of what are called myofibrils. Note these striations. We'll come on to these in a moment. And so a myofibril, we take one out, look at it. It's made of protein filaments, these actin and myosin. This section is called a sarcomere, and look at and let's look now at the sarcomere. Here's a sarcomere and it has this very very characteristic striped appearance. Now the basic unit of striated muscle is the sarcomere. A sarcomere is a span from one z-line to the next and the length changes according to state of contraction. Okay, here's a single sarcomere. Remember those stripes on the, um, on the picture we had a minute ago? Now the sarcomere is from that point Okay, across to a corresponding point. Now here notice we've got myosin and also actin. Myosin and actin. And look at the different zones there as well. We look at the cross section of a sarcomere. Notice that at towards the ends you've got only actin or you've got myosin and at certain points you've got actin and myosin join together. Now the whole point of contracting muscle is it's when these slide together. So let's have a look. Here we've got a relaxed muscle at the top here, relaxed sarcomere. Notice there's very little overlap between the myosin and the actinin. As the muscle starts to contract, so the actin and myosin start to row across each other. And at the bottom here, we've got a fully contracted sarcomere. And notice that we've got the actin and myosin tightly bunched together. This is why the muscle looks more um, looks larger, bigger when it's contracted because these things are pulled across each other. So this is why the muscle looks bigger. We actually see that in, in motion now. Okay, here you can see how the actin 
is pulling across the myosin and the muscle will get thicker. So when we are contracting muscles, this is what's happening. Okay, so that's a brief summary of muscle structure and how muscles work. And I hope you feel a bit more illuminated and educated as a result. So thanks for watching this video and I'll speak to you again very soon.